kitchen porter I think very adaptable and a lot of people think that it's just a case of you just stand at a sink and wash up but uh, there's a lot more to it than that. I think the role is very diverse, um, I think it's very important as well, um, I'd go as far to say that the role of a kitchen porter in a business is one of the most important people in the building. Some of the country's leading chefs, yourself included, uh, started life as a kitchen porter. Um, what would your advice be to a kitchen porter who wanted to progress further afield? To work to the best of your ability at all times, don't, you know, don't look at your job as it's only a kitchen porter, it's only this. I remember when I was a kitchen porter and I really wanted to break into being a chef that I'd harass the chef to give me jobs, so whether it was de-bearding mussels, preparing wild mushrooms, peeling little tiny Thai shallots, preparing langoustines as a kitchen porter, you know, so all that sort of thing, showing a real keen, keen interest in what you want to progress on to do. Michael, what do you think makes a good kitchen porter? The ability to complete free tasks and make it look like one job, a quick pace to the best of your ability. Be alert and awake at all times and be mentally, spatially aware of yourself. This is an athlete's job, fascinated by the whole culinary and cookery world, you know, to become a chef. You have to have courage, bravery, because, you know, it's a very delicate job. I'd love to be a chef one day. How many plates do you think you wash? A couple of hundred? A couple of hundred. Too many? No. <laughs> no.